गुड इवनिंग व्यूअर वेलकम टू आवर ग्लोरी ग्लोब टी वीअर्स ब्रेकिंग न्यूज यस रिसर्चर्स रिसर्चर्स एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया एंड डिगो डिस्कवर दैट एन अनयूजुअली लार्ज ब्रेन कूड वि द फर्स्ट साइन ऑफ ऑटिज्म पोटेंशियली डिटेक्टेबल इन एस अर्ली एज द फर्स्ट ट्रांसटर सम चिल्ड्रेन उथ ऑटिज्म फेस सीवियर Enduring challenges, including developmental delays, social difficulties, and possibly an inability to speak. Meanwhile, others may have milder symptoms that lessen over time. The disparity in outcomes has been a mystery to scientists until now. A new study published in Molecular Autism by researchers at the University of California, San Diego, is the first to set light. on the matter among its findings the biological basis for these two subtypes of autism develops in utero researchers used blood based stem cells from 10 toddlers ages 1 through 4 with idiopathic autism in which no single gene cause was identified to create brain cortical organoids or models of the fetal cortex they also created bcos from six neurotypical toddlers often referred to as gray matter the cortex lines the outside of the brain it holds tens of millions of nerve cells and responsible for essential functions like consciousness thinking reasoning learning memory emotion and sensory function among their findings the bcos of toddlers with autism were significant fickly larger roughly 40% than those of neurotypical controls according to two rounds of study performed in different years 2021 and 2022 each round involved the creation of hundreds of organoids from each patient the researchers also found that abnormal bcio growth in toddlers with autism correlated with their disease presentation the large Sure, a toddler's BCO size, the more severe their social and language symptoms were later in life, and the larger their brain structure on MRI, sensibly enlarged BCO showed greater than typical volume in social language and sensory brain areas when compared to neurotypical peers. The bigger the brain, the better is not necessarily true," said. Alison Muthri PhD director of the Sanford Stem Cell Institute Integrated Space Stem Cell Orbital Research Center at the University the SSCI is directed by Katarina Jamison MD PhD a leading physician scientist in cancer stem cell biology whose research explores the fundamental questions of how space alters cancer's progression we found that in the brain organoids from toddlers with profound autism there are more cells and sometimes more neurons and that's not always for the best added mutori who is also professor in the departments of pediatrics and cellular and molecular medicine at the uc san diego school of medicine what's more the bcos of all children with autism regardless of severity grew roughly three times faster than those of neurotypical children some of the largest brain organoids from children with the most severe persistent cases of autism also saw the accelerated formation of neurons the more severe a toddler's autism the quicker their bco grew sometimes to the point of developing an excess of neurons eric karchas ne phd a professor in the school of medicines department of neuroscience who collated the research with motri called the study one of a kind matching data on children with autism including their iq symptoms severity and imaging like mris with their corresponding bcos or similar stem cell derived models make an incredible amount of sense he said but oddly enough such research had not been undertaken 
ahead of their work. The core symptoms of, of autism are social, affective and communication problems, said Kronzne, who also serves as co-director of the UC San Diego Autism Center of Excellence. We need to understand the underlying neurobiological causes of those challenges and when they begin, we are the first to design an autism stem cell study of this specific and central question. It is long been assumed that autism, a complex pool of progressive disorders, begins prenatally and involves multiple stages and processes, while no two people with autism are alike. Just as no two neurotypical people are, those with the neurodevelopmental condition can generally be grouped into two categories, those who have severe social struggles and require lag long care and may even be non-verbal and those who have a milder version of the condition who eventually develop good language skills and social relationship. Beyond this exclusive report, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, Bharat.